number. Bur- Purdue and Indiana. And by the way, Kansas State with the, uh, the situation, by the way, last week with uh, TCU. Uh, Kansas State, no, Kansas State, no, TCU. It, look, Kansas State actually could be in the Big 12 championship game still. They're on pace uh, to be in the uh, Big 12 championship game next week. So this is still lots lots to play for here if you're a Kansas State. They've got Texas behind them at 5-3. and three right now and of course uh, k-state earlier this year lost to texas so it's one of those situations where kansas state loses texas wins texas is suddenly in the big 12 championship game so this is important here for uh, kansas state just to con- they control their own destiny take care of business so uh, big stakes here for kansas state who could be playing uh tcu uh, in the uh, big 12 championship game if they can get a win here all right purdue and indiana uh the old oaken bucket uh, here, as they call this, one of my favorite names of all the rivalry matchups. Uh, Purdue, 10, 11 point road favorites, 55 and a half the total in this one. So I was starting to wonder, um, is it was Indiana checking out? And I took a small, small shot with Indiana last week against Michigan State, although I like the over, as I mentioned on the Saturday show, a lot more. I did not expect that. I mean, 39 31 win in overtime. Uh, clearly, this team is still not let go of the rope for uh, Tom Allen, which is uh, good to see. And I got it. And uh, look, they didn't really do much in terms of the passing game. Dexter Williams was uh, two, two out of seven. It was all the run game and it was all just Michigan state kind of shooting themselves in the foot uh, throughout that football game. I mean, Michigan state still got over 500 yards uh, of offense, but ran into issues. Peyton Thorne turned the ball over. Uh, you know, they had the time of possession edge 29, 11 and first downs. It was just bizarre that they just couldn't capitalize and turn that yardage into points. And Indiana was able to pull off a stunning win. But it tells you the effort, at least for Indiana, is still there. It is a rivalry game. Purdue in their last three, their last four victories since the 20 to 10 win at Minnesota, Maryland win by two, Nebraska win by six, Illinois win by seven, Northwestern by eight last week. This is not a win by double digits type of team right now, Purdue. Even though I like them, even though I think their passing game with uh, O'Connell is pretty good. This is, and remember, they've had uh, some injuries. They've had King Doru, their running back's been out for a while. Um, they've got some issues to winning games by margin right now. So, rivalry setting like this, I would lean a little bit to Indiana. And you know, when it comes to totals with Indiana, I ain't betting anything but over with them right now. Their defense is that bad, but we saw some offense from them last week, and they've probably moved the ball a little bit against Purdue. So, the dog and the over are of interest to me here. What do you think, C-Man? Yeah, you mentioned seven games have uh, gone over for Indiana this year. Purdue's the better team here. Um, I like this old oak and bucket, you know, from the well or whatever it came from. But uh, Indiana, I just, uh, you know, that was a big win. That was a big second half from nowhere. They didn't have much of anything in that first. Came all the way back. They are at home here. <laughs> I kind of want to take them. I just haven't trust them. It's just not a team that like I love putting my money on right now, um, even though they got it done last week. So I'm going to wait on this one. But I think you're right. I think they, you know, what Purdue defense is going to show up. You know, they've given up points to some some shitty teams. So maybe Indiana, you're right. This this can get over. <laughs> 